What's up guys? Today's video is going to cover the X-Factor formation of the Madden 25 Scheme of the Week offense. Today we're looking at our um, Scheme of the Week for our, um, our single back spread uh, out of the West Coast playbook using the Miami Dolphins. We're going to make some RB subs here. I'd like to put Dustin Keller um, in one of the slots uh, with, the other rest, with the rest of the receivers. So just make sure you make that quick uh, quick little adjustment. If you don't like him, uh, you can obviously leave in um, you can obviously leave in Matthews if you want to. Um, it's up to you. Our base play from the single back um, from the single back uh, spread here is the slot pivot. And basically, there's really only only one thing you need to read here. Um, a couple things here to note: uh, where are the safeties and where are are the corners aligned over those slots? If they are aligned over the slots. Typically, we'll stick with slot pivot. Um, so here they are aligned over the slots. Our first read is going to be our little pivot route to Gibson. I uh, really like that against man-to-man -man coverage. And um, one thing you can do is you can motion it a little, uh, two steps. If you motion it two steps, it will become an unbumpable pattern even if they call press coverage. And so it's nice to have that knowledge that that's always going to be there against man. Um, our second read on this play uh, typically is this little vertical pattern to A. Once it lights up, we like to pass through that to the left. It's that same route out of the comeback Z post. Um, you don't get a true a true look as how effective that route is right there. Um, let me back up a little bit show you. This is where we're going to revolutionize deep passing uh, in this game. You see that A route is going to get in a part of the field that's... V you see Landry get over there, but I'm telling you guys, that route is really good. It really is. Um... I'm st I think the game got patched because it, it was a lot more effective earlier on in the year, but, man, wow, Mathis. <laughs> Holy cow, did you see Mathis there? Um, look, watch, watch. A is just going to lose this guy, and then you're just going to lob it. And if, if that happens, you can click on a user catch, but you got to make sure you get it to the left. You can't, you can't actually just lob it over the top because the deep blues are going to recover, but the man coverage will not, so it's... See here, we'll just lob it straight over the top, and you'll see Landry make a play. That's because Landry and Davis are, are monsters for the Colts. But if we just like if we just like hard pass lead left, but lobbed, and there you see, then you can make a user catch on it. So I like it against two men under. Some people do, some people don't. Um, the next read on this, so we're gonna go to the pivot, no streak, no, and then we're gonna go to the out route. You see the out route? We really like it against man. Um, and then of course the third. Um, or the fourth and final read, left, no, 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 and at this point, in route's going to be coming over the middle against man. Love that route. Uh, also, I like to put the running back on a block and release because I don't I don't really look to him much, so I like to have him just in case as a safety valve underneath. All right, beauty of the single back spread is the formation. Um, real quick, if, if, there's, if they're man aligning like so, call inside zone. That's your run audible down. Basically, you're going to count the box. If there's more than five people inside the hash marks, you're not going to run it. But here we see less than five people inside the hash marks. We're going to run it. we got one-on-one -on -one blocking. And look at that. Humongous run for Miller. Uh, I love the single back spread because we get that ability to run and pass from it. Uh, the quick audible up is the slant flats. Basically, never really call this play, to be honest, but the slant rats do beat man coverage. So I do like that. And if it's zone coverage, um, like it, it really isn't that good against the cover two, but against the cover three, it's very effective. Okay, so the next play I want to go over is the smash corners. Uh, what we like to do is this is if they're base aligning their formation, something like this, we'll call smash corners all day, and we'll put one receiver on a drag, one re and then we'll uh, one receiver on a smoke screen. So uh, just depending on wide side of the field, so the wide side of the field is going to get the. Uh, uh, smoke screen. So here Wallace is going to get a smoke screen. We're going to drag heart line uh, and then block and release our running back. And uh, here you're going to see A's route is going to beat man coverage to the outside. And then if they're in like a cover two zone, so like a cover two sink, and we'll set the same play up like so, you'll see that A's route is going to beat that cover two. Landry made a great play there. I've made a horrible pass lead, which is a shocker to you guys. Um, something like that. And uh, A's route's going to be able to beat that cover too. So there we go. Uh, pretty
pretty good play here. And then if they're running like a cover three, um, the problem with cover three, the one thing that we don't like about cover three um, is the fact that they're going to bump these corners. But that's fine because we can just hit the drag underneath. And so that's that's where the drag comes in. Coral on the left side is just if they're – so say like they flip this formation like so and then base align it. If they do that, then your corner round advantage is going to be to the left side. So you would still do the same hot routes, but it would just you, your left side would be your man beating corner, typically. So that's what we do there. So that's smash corners, uh, PA slot crosses. Um, really, only one. Really, I love this play. I don't call it that much though. Uh, I like to motion Matthews across, and this is strictly a man beating route. Um, basically, um, Matthews route with a pass lead. You don't really have to pass. They just throw it to him. It'll be man every single time. We'll, we'll call two men under a couple times here. You'll see the effectiveness of that route against man coverage. I don't know if it – it's really effective. Um, it's a natural pick, which is why I love it so much. I personally like to take off the play action because, as you see, the first couple run-throughs here, the PA screws up the timing, whereas if you don't have the PA, watch this. Now you can just deliver the ball whenever. And just look at how open he is. That's really like a slant out from Madden 12. So definitely love, love, love that route. Um, another thing I like to do sometimes is motion Matthews over in the streak just to mix it up a little bit. And so now I'm running, I could be running a streak. I could be running whatever I want to run. They don't really ever know. And so it just gets that mind game in. And then, of course, if you wanted to run, a, you, you could run smash corners across and run like a post post corner or smoke screen, something like that. That little look right there, that's a popular route combination that we can use. And you see the post will, will beat man as well. So all sorts of different things and combinations you can do with this offense. But it all begins with these four base plays out of the single back spread, guys. Make sure you're looking at the alignment. If they are stacked over the guys, I recommend the slot pivot. If they're base aligning, I recommend the smash corners uh, so that we can get that man beating corner route out there. Uh, against man so enjoy this single back spread guys it's our x-factor formation we like to use for that clutch two-minute drill or that third and short